So after we've activated the brain screen, we come onto the, the first page of the brain. And uh, so this is a um, AI machine. It's got a, a Xavier NX inside. It's, it's kind of like the power of a powerful laptop. Uh, it's connected to the cameras and odometry, the CAN bus, so it can get any of the signals in the robot and the GPS and, and other things. So this is where you'll do all your AI app. Okay, the first thing we want to go to on the brain is the settings, this little icon here, brain settings. And so you get a, a screen that shows the basic state of the system, which are the, the cameras. So here we have two cameras, and uh, um, they're both, uh, Oak Zero and One are active. We could stop one and uh, restart it. And what you can do is set up the Wi-Fi up here. So if you need to connect, we're already connected. So um, you can scan for Wi-Fi. It comes up, and you can uh, enter, uh, click on it, and it'll uh, give you something to set the password and then get it. But we're connected here. Then we can look at the devices again, which we already had up, <laughs> so that gives you the state of the system. And this debug touch is, uh, allows you to see that the screen, the touch screen is working. And then uh, uh, we have this uh, uh, debug I.O. pins. So here you can set the brightness of the display. You can uh, toggle the lights and, and set up other things. There's also a record screen function. And so this was, I'm recording a screen right now. This allows you, in case there's a bug, to record what was happening and send it back to us. And that's the basic setting page. So when you launch the brain, you'll have a bunch of apps on it. And right now, there's only really one that's not a standard one. It's our virtual joystick app, which is one of our examples. But you'll be populating your own apps here. One of the default ones is the recorder. And so that's going to load this app. It's running now. And the recorder is now connected to the Oak cameras. And you can scroll along the scene. So this is the, the camera uh, 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 looking backwards, which is going to look at us. <laughs> There's the depth map. Uh, this is looking backwards, the way the camera is facing. This is, that was the left camera, right camera. And um, going back, so that's the depth view. And, and so, you know, you can, you can get these different camera views. There's also a recording video button, so I can record the video. So I'm just recording a short video. And there's also uh, uh, taking individual photos. There's camera settings that you can set up. And uh, this mainly is the file size, maximum file size. We won't change that. And then there's metadata about that you can enter uh, values for, you know, where you are and um, other things that will just go along with that scan. I'm, I'm just canceling out. When you record, since CAN bus is on, it will record wheel odometry and other data that's also on the CAN bus. So that's that screen and going back to Maine. Next, we'll discuss the gallery app. This is where your recordings go. So you can view them here. You can view pictures and videos. So for instance, I had just taken this video. It's not very interesting, but you know, running it was just a short time video. So the, uh, the videos are collected there. And this just shows you what you've recorded on the system. So we'll exit now.
Next, we're going to talk about the file mover. So when you load the file mover, this is, there's a USB connection on the back of this. When you load a scan disk or a thumb drive to it, this will come up and it'll allow you to just transfer files that you select off. We haven't plugged this in, so I won't be showing that right now. Going back to me. Finally, uh, the example app that comes with the system, the virtual joystick, is here. We'll let that load. And now, uh, so that's the forward camera. I'm going to e-stop the system because I, I don't want the robot to be moving as I'm showing you this. So pressing e-stop. And, and then this is an app that's basically the, just a stub that, for instance, you'll start modifying to do your own thing. It reads the camera, as you can see, and, and you can get different views. This is the disparity view. That's the depth. You can get the uh, left view, right view, back to the color view. And then this will allow you to control the robot. So it, it shows you how to actuate the robot. So this is just a good example app to get running and it's already installed on the robot as an example.